I promised yesterday I was going to show you pictures of the Obama Library, um, and they are just incredible. So here are some of the pictures of the Obama Library. Okay, this is Obama was uh, approved this this library. Really, um, it looks like for for those who can't see it and are just listening, it looks like Gonk from Star Wars Episode Four. Right, remember the robot with the feet that kind of walks around? Yeah, there there's Gonk. Right, so it kind of looks like that. Right, so it looks like Gonk from it, it looks like. A, a Chinese food takeout box that was open and then left in the sun. And it's, it's, it's this weirdly Orwellian looking building. It's supposed to symbolize four hands coming together, which I don't understand at all. I don't understand how this is hands. It looks like just a weird building. It looks like a tower off the, off the side of the Death Star. I mean, it really does. Uh, and, uh, and then it has a sports center so people can play sports at the Obama Presidential Library. And it's supposed to overlook a walkway outside so that you can look down on all the little people. It really is an amazing thing. Now, here's what it says about Obama. I mean, look how, look how hideous this is. I mean, this is just hideous crap. And if you look at the, the Bush Presidential Library, it's kind of a classy looking building. If you look at any of the old presidential libraries, they're all nice looking. The Nixon Presidential Library is beautiful. The Ronald Reagan Presidential Library is beautiful. This is just a hideous eyesore that apparently is being built by modernists. And those modernists do not know how to build anything remotely interesting looking. It looks like it looks like a Soviet bloc era modernist art piece. Just ugly as all sin. My goodness gracious. And then I, my understanding is that this weird segment on the on the corner is supposed to be words. Now I can't actually read any of those words because I think they only use the top half of the letters. But it's supposed to emphasize how important were how important words were to Obama, which makes perfect sense because the guy sucked at governing. So words were the only thing that he was good at. Here's the part that I find really interesting. So in 2011, he said he wanted to be an architect, did Obama. So he said, when I was younger, there was a time I dreamed of being an architect. So as you might guess, I've been pretty hands-on in the plans for the center. And Michelle has too. So Obama, who thinks he's an architect, helps come up with the plans for this hideous, hideous monstrosity. That's not a shock because you remember in 2008, he said, I think I'm a better speechwriter than my speechwriters. I know more about policies on any particular issue than my policy directors. And I'll tell you right now, I'm going to think I'm a better political director than my political director. It was that sort of arrogance and self-centeredness that led him to being a bad president. Okay, he was not better at any of these things than the people he delegated to. And he is not a better architect than my one and a half year old child who can at least build a box out of magnet tiles. Okay, this is hideous crap. And it's, it's fitting for a, a hideous presidency. So there you have it. Just ugly, ugly, ugly. I don't know what it is about Democrats and ugly presidential libraries. Here's a picture of the Clinton presidential library. Uh, let's, go, let's grab that one. Uh, it, this has been mocked for years because it looks like a double wide trailer. It's, it's a very weird looking presidential library. In fact, uh, I know a local radio host in Arkansas who went and stuck a bunch of pink fl flamingos in front of it as a prank because it looks like a double wide trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it, the, I don't know why. Maybe, maybe only Republicans are capable of building beautiful presidential libraries because this one is just, they're, they're all ugly, ugly, ugly.